guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, we're going to be doing a boy talk, a ch really chilled out video, chilled out boy talk. We've got um, a few questions on, well, questions, advice, dilemmas and stuff on my phone that we're just going to be answering, having a chat about. And yeah, but we've also got, is that still hot? No. We've also got our leftover, please don't jump in, Papa John's <laughs> from last night. So we're going to be munching on that. It's going to be like a little mukbang. This is the best vegan pizza. The best vegan had. pizza ever. Okay, so the first one that we got. Um, when your man doesn't make effort, doesn't want to make effort with your friends. Hmm. By the way, guys, I'm single and Megan's in a relationship, so probably best speaking to you. Yeah. When your man don't want to make effort with your friends. Mm. What do you think on that? I just feel like... You need to sit down and you need to have that conversation. Why are you laughing? Because I'm just going for more food. I know, I'm so hungry. But like you need to sit down and then you need to have that conversation and be like, what What actually is it that's, you don't, why do you not want to get on with my friends? Is it that yeah. he doesn't he doesn't like them because they're getting you down or is it because he just doesn't want to make an effort with them because he wants you to himself or whatever? You know yeah, what I, mean? I think that could get quite toxic and controlling if he, if he's saying to not for you not to see your friends and to see him more, um, but also it might be something that he's insecure about, and maybe you you need to help him by saying yeah. That, Take maybe it. you should do like a you should organise once lockdown like is over. Maybe you should just organise where his mates and your mates will just come together and go on a night not a night out but like just meet up and maybe oh you God. can just yeah. mingle. And then he can start to make an effort with your friends. But when you say don't make an effort with your friends, like how much effort do you like want? Some just be able to sit in a room together and have a chat, or do you want like to be able to go on a holiday? Or yeah, you know I mean? like you're gonna want your own space in a relationship. Like some people are like obsessed with each other and they just want each other, and that's it. That will never be me. I'll never be no. in that sort of relationship. Some people are though, but I think for a healthy relationship, you should be able to have your own friendship group and then he should have his and you should be able to kind of be okay with that uh, i mean there's going to be times when you want your own space like there mm. are and you want to be able to have that you, you don't want your own space and then the only people you've got are his friends because yeah you know what i mean like it's exactly not, it's not really great but yeah so maybe you do need to kind of figure out yourself with what exactly what, how much effort are you wanting? Exactly, like what, mm. when you say, my man don't make effort with my friends, is that he literally will never make the effort to talk to them, yeah. meet up with them. But yeah, you don't want too much effort because that can make you jealous. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah, imagine. Imagine if like, exactly. one of your friends and you've got, oh. What puts you off a boy? So if we, right, we'll start with like the obvious, like if you were to look at someone and be like, oh, that's not a bit of me. You know I mean? Let's just get appearance out of the way. They've got teeth. to have nice teeth, yeah. Got to have nice teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 100%, I agree. Nice teeth. Um, again, With appearance, I just don't really, I don't know, because I don't have a type. No. My ex-boyfriends are two very different people. Very different. Very different. It looks as well. Yeah. Um, and then like you look at my boyfriend, I think that I, I would never have ended up with someone like that. No. But not so someone like that, but yeah. yeah, but like the way I don't know, it's confusing. But what push off a boy? Um, probably being obnoxious, um, yeah. definitely like too into their looks. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't stand that. Like, just obsessed with themselves, yeah, like it just makes me feel sick. Like, yeah, like maybe kind of they're too greedy for attention, like you say, like obnoxious yeah. with it. Well, okay. No ambition. God, yeah. That's the biggest turn oh. off for the boy because it's like if you don't know where you want to go and you're just so slumped and just so like yeah. that puts me off because I'm like that me like that would make me down about exactly. myself. You want someone that knows what they want to do, that's yeah. got ambition, that's got drive, and that actually helps drive both of you as well. Like exactly. not just not just him, or not just you. It can put your like you said, it can put you down as well. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have a bit of pizza. I'm gonna have another cauliflower. <laughs> mm. Okay, 
Going from what puts you off a boy, what attracts you most to a boy and why? Probably like basically everything that we just said but reversed. Mm -hmm. So like, they've got to have ambition. I don't think I have like a type. I just don't, I don't mm -hmm. know, I don't think I do. If I like someone, I like someone. It's not like, oh, you're not my usual, like you're... Yeah. Just I think they've got to have... I know this is so cliche, but they have got to have the best personality. Mm -hmm. Like, I have to have a laugh with them. I have to feel comfortable with them as well. So, like, Not take things too seriously. Yeah. Yeah, but then also be able to have serious conversations. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, I, can't, I couldn't be with someone who is just jokes all the time. And it's like, we want to have a serious, serious conversation. conversation. They just turn it into a joke because you're never getting that. Yeah, that's not great. Um, should I be worried if my boyfriend doesn't show me his phone? I mean, Ooh, in put, it in your, put it in your situation. Um, if your boyfriend like won't let me like this, dress. and then like you kind of went up, oh, and they're like, no, you would suspect something. I up. would definitely suspect one hundred percent. But also respect his privacy in terms of kind of like with his friends. In my, if it was in my position, I would be like. Oh, is that your group chat? And I'd, ex I did like expect him to kind of just be like, yeah, look, but oh, no, yeah. let me sit there and read through at all. I think like, that's definitely to do with trust. Yeah. Like, if you generally don't have any trust in, in your boyfriend, like, that's not like. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I don't really know. No. No. Not really. Yes and no. I don't know. Like, I would be worried. I would be. I would be. But. If he generally didn't, but what I'm saying is, if it's like to not worry, that. if he just tells you reassuringly what it is, and that's when you have the trust. If he actually actively shows you, here we go, then fair enough. Yeah. And obviously, don't worry about it. Because there's going to be that's a problem. There's going to be reasons why you don't show your phone to one another. Yeah. You could be surprising me with something. Yeah. Yeah. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one's a little bit of a deep one. When does it become controlling in a relationship? It should never really become controlling. Yeah, I don't what think, is the mark? Like, um, what is it like? I think, like you said yesterday, when we were discussing yesterday, like when if that that boy is generally controlling your life, like your clothes, who you see, mm. what you do. That's that is wrong. very controlling, but then there's a nice part of controlling where it's like not nice part, but a nice part of like being overprotective. Yeah, so I agree, and I think that like if you if it starts to become controlling to the point where like you know you know the signs, I just think you need to get up and get gone. Hmm. You need to discuss it first. Oh my God. That's probably far. <gasps> I think you should just get out of it. There's just no way. That's just not going to end. But it's right. a red flag. Yeah. Like it's a red flag, and it. I feel like it becomes controlling when there's a reason for it to become controlling. Like someone cheats or someone you haven't got trust. There's no trust in a relationship. It's going to be controlling. Yeah. Because they don't trust you, obviously, because they're controlling your life. I feel like my boyfriend spends more time with his mates and chooses them over me in a situation. It really, guys are guys, and from my, like, my point of view on it, mm -hmm. that, <laughs> that a guy's friendship, I can yeah, I can relate, a guy's friendship is tight, mm -hmm. especially when, yeah, but when they've been friends for so many years, and, like, it is very tight. Not every boy's like that, I'll never tell you. No, no, they're not, but, like, they're just, boys can be close with their friends and and there'll be a point where a girl will not become not um come between them. Yeah. Like a little bit. There is, yeah. I think so hang on, what was the thing again? I feel like my boyfriend spends more time with his mates and chooses them over me, like in a situation. So but that's wrong. Like I think that is wrong. But then at the same time I would always choose girls over like I would always cho choose Jolie. It's one of those things, boy, right? Okay. Like what? Let's Let's kind of put it into an example of we're on we're on Monday, right? And <laughs> what? And your boyfriend says, right? I'm seeing my mates tonight. So 
you like you don't live together, so mm -hmm. you're separate. And you're I'm gonna see my mates tonight, but I'll see you tomorrow instead. Comes Tuesday, and he then says, "Oh, the guys are actually have asked me to play on Xbox, or they've asked me to go see them, whatever." Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, baby. It's fine. Something like that. It get, just goes on and on and on. There's a problem there. Mm -hmm. You need to speak up. But if he's like seeing his friends, say we go back to the Monday seat, then he sees you on the Tuesday. It's a nice balance. On has, there has to be a balance. Yeah, nice balance. But if you feel like that, you need to have the conversation with him. Like you need to sit down and be like, mm. yes, you have your friends. I have my friends. But when it comes to a situation, you want to feel like they kind of would choose you. And like, but you you don't want to you don't. It should be spending more time with anyone. It should be balanced. Friends relationship. It should be balanced, shouldn't it? Like, it sh yeah, and it does become a time as well. Like, if, if the longer you are with this person, they would want to spend more time with you because at the end of the day, they're 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 saying they want to really spend the rest of their life with you, and like yeah. they, which I guess is reassuring to you, but also. If they are seeing their friends more and they're saying all that, then that's cool. Really? Okay, we've got one more. Okay. Is that alright? Yeah, that yeah. one. It might be too long then. I've been with my boyfriend for two and a half years. We both live at home, but we are wanting to move in together, but I'm scared to take the jump. Any advice? So hang on, so they've been for two and a half years. Just to let you know, uh, just to let you guys know, like we're no professionals, so if you actually need help, go and get help. Disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, no disclaimer, because we're no therapists over here. I like to think that we give good advice. Mm. But then to people that we don't know. But this is just a chilled out video, take it with a pinch of salt, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so going back to the one. So I've been with my boyfriend for two and a half years, a long time mm -hmm. I would say. Two and a half years. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. We both live at home, okay? But I'm wanting to move in together, but I'm scared to take the jump on my own. On my own. Take the jump? Like take the jump. Oh, so like, right, okay. Maybe if you're scared to take the jump to actually do it, maybe do like a week where you live with each, like live at their, at their week, family home, or yeah. like two weeks or whatever. Yeah. And see, and it's like a trial and error, isn't it? Like, and if it generally is not going to work to the point where like you get on each other's nerves, you need your space, he need his space, like then you kind of know that because it will happen every couple moves in together but it's at their right it's got you've got to do it at your own pace and you've got to do it at your own yeah like if you've been together for two and a half years then you, yeah you probably have learned to know how to live with each other but at the same time don't rush it because yeah. once you're in that situation it's very hard to get out of that situation when you're living with someone yeah you don't want to kind of take the plunge and then you suddenly realize oh my god this isn't right for me. Like, and then it could jeopardise your, um, it could jeopardise your relationship. Because yeah. then you could be like, this is the wrong time with the wrong person. Yeah. I think it's all about timing. It is. Personally. 100%. I know plenty of people who have actually taken that jump and then realised that it's not for them and it's actually ruined their relationships. And you don't want that to happen. Yeah. No one wants that to happen. But um, yeah, so you've got to do it at your own pace. Discuss it. Always, always, always discuss it with them. Like you need to know where they're at. Like you can't kind of. Do make sure you're going on the same page mm. first because I mean, maybe you're sometimes a little bit ahead of. I'm so ahead, yeah. Like, you're thinking about getting a dog and stuff. I don't know, I just think maybe just one, make sure it's the right time, and two, maybe just give it a go. Like, go to his give house, it a go. Or give it a go, man. Same. Just do it, just give it a go. <laughs> If you know, if you know, yeah. you know. And like I said, in life, if it's not meant to be, it won't, it won't happen. So if you do end yeah. up living with him, don't beat yourself up about it if it's, if it's not the right time or it's not the right person because you've given it a go. Yeah, and don't also think that, um, oh my god, I've just wasted two and a half years of my life. No, you know, like that's you. The that's all way. a lesson as well. Like it's you learn. Yeah, everything that happens and every person that you meet, there is a reason. Mm -hmm. We're going quite deep. Aren't we? Like we should do a video on the law of attraction. I'd love that. And it won't possibly work. It won't no. like the universe won't let that happen. No. I yeah, I think so. But if on the other hand, if you, if it is if it is meant to be, then it will be the best decision you ever made and you'll be really happy. Right? <laughs> I'm a bit of oh. But yeah, so that is the end of our little boy talk. 
So come on down and open with your girl talk. Boom! Boom! Matt! Matt! I'm going to leave my Um, But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Obviously, I didn't actually say at the beginning that I was joined with my sister. Yeah. This is Meg. She's you guys know me by now. You've seen her on FaceTime. Right. Sorry, right. I'm so hungry. Yeah, I know. Like, stop. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.